Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sam Speed Box for September. And the theme was meditation. Um, so really lovely, kind of soft color palette, which is very different from last month's box, which was the bright uh, rainbow colors, lots of bright colors, um, and chakra strand. This is my bracelet that I made with last month's box, all the chakra stones. I used some baby labs, <laughs> labradorite, and some opalite, and then this fun celestial uh, button. Anyway, that's my bracelet from last month. So very softer color palette this month. Um, it says he, he drew inspiration from the lotus flower, which comes in many colors, soft purples, pinks, oranges, and creams, along with the green tones for the floating lotus leaves. Um, there's 14 different check glass items and um, five gemstone selections. So, really, really pretty. Um, this one right here is the ruby zoocyte i think that's how you say it very pretty green these little tiny fauceted coins are really really pretty so i'm excited to work with those so of course we have the really pretty tiara cast lotus charm and then the lotus uh, charm uh, lotus beads check glass beads those are really cool so we have lots of fun green greens. These ones right here, I think, are my favorite. This is um, green opaline. Check glass freeform drop. So it's a really fun shape. And I'm just obsessed with that color. It's so pretty. Green opaline. So we have some peridot colored cubes. Check glass cubes. Those are fun. And some baby drook peaceful green frosted green. Some olive green coin swirl. And these are um, really, really pretty color too. This is called green sea opal. So the diamond brios. Super pretty color. And then we have some adventuring, which is really, really pretty. I've only ever worked with green adventuring, so this is um, fun to get. This kind of reminds me of like peach, peach moonstone, I think, although the moonstone has a little bit more of a flash to them, but those are pretty. And then we have some red aventurine faceted rounds. So those are very shiny. Has a fall tone in that color to me, definitely. And then the cream colors. We have these little like spacers and then these cool ovals. And then some champagne colored bicones. And then we have some pinks. We have a pink hexagon rose quartz pendant. So that's fun. Some little saucers. And then these here is another really pretty gemstone. This is rhodonite. Those are really, really pretty. They do have some facets in them, so they are they do have some shine. Very pretty. And then we got some purples. We have the daggers, the AB frosted lavender, the donuts, and then the um, frosted rounds in the same color. And then these long amethyst um, long oval yeah these are pretty so I have already made a pair of earrings 
using the lavender check gloss donuts and the dagger beads. So I just connected them together with eight millimeter twisted jump rings and wire wrapped the daggers on the bottom. And it made for a cute pair of earrings, kind of different. And the three daggers on the bottom kind of mimics the lotus flower, like upside down with those three petals. So that was really cute. Okay, so I did want to do a little project today. I wanted to do some herringbone wrap to kind of showcase these cool lotus beads. And there's many different ways that you can um, that you can do herringbone. You can that you can how you can start it. So I was thinking I would. I'm going to start it with just a plain piece of wire with no loops on either end yet. And then I'm also going to do a mixed metal look. So I have the antique brass as my base wire. That's a 20 gauge. And then I have a piece of 22 gauge in the silver. Um, and this is German style wire. And I'm just going to get the bead right in the center it's probably gonna it's way more than I need but and then I'm just gonna anchor this wire just one time like that And then have it right where I want it. And then we're just going to do a couple wraps of the herringbone. And I'm going to keep this little tail in there because I might want to use it again. Or use it at the end. So tuck it around. Wrap it around and then bring it back up the other side. Okay, straighten that back out. And we're going to go and push that down. So right on top of that wire wrap, wrap it around one time. And now I was hoping to put on some of these. Let's see. Where are my snippers? Here we go. I'm hoping these little guys will fit on this 22 gauge wire. They are pretty tiny. Oh, fits on there. Ooh, that's gonna look cool. So we'll put on Some of these little ruby zoocytes. Position it where you want it and then 
wrap around the base wire. And then we're just gonna go like that and wrap it around the other side. Wrap it around the top. I'm a big fan of mirror image with earrings. So for the other earring, for this, for this would be the beads would be on the other side. You know, so they're mirrored opposite of each other. But I like that. That's a cute, fun way to decorate that lotus bead. And then I was thinking, let's see, with this tail here, you do something a little bit different. Where's my round nose pliers? Just to make a little swirl on the top. slowly twisting that around to a swirl and then pushing it down over the top that's cute we'll make a wrapped loop Tuck that little tail in. Sorry, I'm getting off camera. And then we'll do the same thing for the bottom. This would even look pretty as a pendant too. Just one of these hanging on a necklace. So we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Um, if you didn't want to loop on the bottom, you could just snip it about here and then take it and tuck the tail into the back. Just like tuck it in. I think I will make a loop on the bottom and dangle something from the bottom of it. So we'll trim that off. And there you go. I got this cute little uh, earring or a pendant. It's showcasing that really pretty lotus bead. And then we've got the sparkly green on the side. We have the loop on the bottom to let's see. You can dangle this one from the bottom. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, and if you don't like the two-tone metal look, you could definitely um you don't have to do two different metals. There we go. That's cute. Hmm, what do you think? Pendant or earrings? I think it would look cute either way. I think maybe I will make one more and I will make it into some earrings. 
I'll finish it up and I'll put a picture at the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this showcasing of Sam Speedbox September and this fun earring idea for these cute lotus beads. And I can't wait to see what other people create with the box in Sam's Gem Chat group on Facebook. Check that out if you guys are not part of that group. It's a great community. Sam does um, fun live sales on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, lots of fun stuff. So go to samspeedshop.com to check out this box. Um, I think he has a lot of these extra pieces for sale. And if you wanted to sign up for his, um, the bead box. So yeah, samspeedshop.com. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye guys.